Kiarana, and welcome to the Atutaki Lagoon in the Cook Islands. Not long ago, giant clam populations were thriving in this lagoon. Then, in the 1980s, a combination of over-harvesting and unusual weather conditions forced clam populations into a dramatic decline. Clams in the lagoon are now functionally extinct. Hello and welcome to AMRC, the Aitutaki Marine Research Center here in the Cook Islands. My name is Charlie Waters and I've been a part-time volunteer marine biologist here for the last 11 years. There are still a few clams in the lagoon, but for the most part, their distances are too far apart for reproduction to occur. Today I have some good news. We've recently developed a method for recruiting large numbers of relatively young clams from these raceways directly onto corals in the lagoon. The idea is that these will be seed populations for subsequent generations to disperse throughout the lagoon. AMRC is part of the Cook Islands Ministry of Marine Resources. The hatchery was opened in 1991 and its primary mission is to grow giant clams, particularly the colorful native species you see here. Hundreds of tourists visit the hatchery every month. In the past, we placed 40 to 50 juvenile clams one at a time into the lagoon. Their survival was never monitored, poaching continued, so it was very difficult to say how many of the recruited clams actually survived. Last year, we learned about a research team led by Timothy Foyle. This team used circular cages to help reduce predation and water flow while the clams get settled on their new substrate. We followed the basic design but made some modifications so that we could put clams directly onto the lagoon substrate. With about $20 New Zealand and a half an hour of time, you too can create one of these cages. The next few segments of this video show Joe Kalkura, one of the AMRC staff, constructing a cage. As you can see, the basic components of our cages are plastic rings, wire mesh, and shade cloth, all held together by strong cable ties. We leave the cages in place on the corals for about three weeks. Once the cages have been constructed, here's what it looks like when we go into different parts of the lagoon to actually begin positioning the cages on the corals. So that's the short version of what we're trying to do to restore giant clam populations to the Aitutaki Lagoon. These graphs show the results of clam survival after 18 days for one, two, and three-year-old clams. Clam survival is on the vertical axis and time is on the horizontal axis. These blue and green data points show survival of clams in experimental cages, those that were protected from predators and water turbulence. The red lines represent mortality of the control group, clams that were not in cages and therefore with no protection. For this particular trial, two and three year olds had much better survival. We found these results encouraging. Besides good survival, the most important benefit of using three year olds is that they may begin producing offspring in the next one and a half to two years. I'd like to leave you with a few parting thoughts. First heartfelt thanks to the Cook Islands Ministry of Marine Resources, particularly Richard Story and Joe Kalkura for all their help and support along the way. Now is also a good time to thank the many scientists and mariculture experts throughout the world who have been working for decades 
and whose information I found invaluable in making this project successful. This is hardly rocket science. With a little persistence and some imagination, if you live in an area of the world that has giant clams, perhaps you'd like to try building some cages yourself, establishing seed populations, and with some protection and a little luck, in the years ahead, we can begin reversing the decline and depletion of these magnificent creatures. Thank you very much for watching this video. Meitaki atupaka ikia manuie.